before Memorial Day. Never wear white after Labor Day. Never wear white. <laughs> Well, um, there's one character that is, um, goes throughout, and that's Gingy, and it's really her story. And uh, the rest of the ensemble uh, takes many, many parts. Everything from a woman who has breast cancer, who is getting reconstructive surgery to fit into a bra. It's about wearing black and how there's nothing like it. It's about going to your closet and not having anything to wear, but having a lot to wear that you don't like or doesn't fit you or various other things. Um, and it's about our struggle with our self-image and our bodies. I love this dress. It's from Eileen Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> it's black, of course. These days, I usually wear black. What I think is great about this show is, again, that it's it's not when you think of fashion, it's not, you know, the, the high end and the exclusive. This is, these are just basic people and dealing with, you know, what you have to put on and how you do with it every day. And I know that when you're saying who should come see the show and I can say, you know, anybody who wears clothes, anyone who has had to wait for a woman while she changes her clothes or decides about her clothes. It, it's really amazing. It'd be so pretty if you lost weight. Gained weight. Didn't make faces. Fixed your nose. Cut your hair. Combed your hair. Wash your hair. I was delighted. I was amused. I was terrified. I was sad. Mostly I laughed a lot. Not just laugh, but it was, it was laughter as if we were all sharing something very, very special. It's just a really, really wonderful story. And it's strung together, um, told by um, you know, so many different women that I think people will recognize. Well, it was cool because I am every one of those five women. And most women who come will be every one of the five women. Every man who comes will have a sister, a mother, a lover, a partner, who is every one of those five women. I don't think there's a female among us who wasn't identifying with each and every character. But it's, it's just a really good insight into, into what it's like to be alive, you know, and it, it'll, it triggers the memories. That's what's amazing to me, too, is everybody who, you know, listens or hears part of it goes, oh, I remember this, and I remember that, and well, with me, la, la, la. So you really, really get to stir up memories in other people, too, and you begin to start seeing things and thinking of things that you hadn't thought of in that way before. I could not have ended my day with more fun than seeing these beautiful women talk about personal things that are so universal. It was very funny, it was very sad, and it's a wonderful time at the Phoenix.